morning happy Thursday I think it is <coughs> so um we are just going to tell you something for today do you want to say it Owen? there's no vlog so because if anyone has something they can't come out um, <laughs> what? okay like, <laughs> what can't come out we're going to um, see quick are the batteries running out um the, the, they, a cold yeah um we explained to you when that when you have a cold you cough and you have flame and want to make the bad stuff come out so that's what he means and, and when i cough um why i had this cold almost too much sun come out what yeah and was making you sore yeah a little bit yeah okay so basically um we are all feeling really rough, so uh, there will be no vlog today. I'm sorry about that. Uh, we're just going to focus on getting better and just instead of showing you, showing us miserable all day, there's no point. So we'll see. And, and I only have a plaster there because I have a spot that I keep scratching. I only had a red plaster at hand and I covered it up so I don't touch it basically. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning and happy Friday, everyone. I'm sitting here with two monkeys. This little guy is feeling very sorry for himself. Hello, little monkey. Owen is getting better, aren't you? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm still... I have quite a bad cold, uh, but um, I'm, I'm on the mend, so I'm good. <laughs> um, the reason why I didn't vlog is not much for how I feel, it's more for how Alfie is, and he needs me a lot at the moment. He basically has a really bad cold, and he's full of flame and all those nice stuff trying to come out but because he has such a strong gag reflex it means that he throws up several times a day just because of the fling which is just messy and annoying but for him it's hard like he doesn't sleep well at night because when he's laying down he feels like very stuffy so we're getting there i, ho I hope <clears throat> But it's not easy because he's just very clingy and he doesn't like it and he just wants to be on me constantly or just right beside me so that he can touch me with his hand, uh, which is really not like him and that's why I know he's just not well at all. Uh, so that's why I took, <coughs> took the day off vlogging yesterday. And to be honest, I don't really know how today and tomorrow are going to go vlogging wise, but I'm just going to take it an hour at a time and decide then what I'm doing. But uh, I thought I would tell you about a little project we have, which is meant to happen this weekend, but might have to be postponed to next weekend, depending on how um, Alfie is feeling tomorrow. So this is the project. Uh, whenever we moved here, uh, I had bought my uh, this, which is called the Cat Kitson Dream Home Journal. It's basically a thing to play <coughs> to plan how you want to decorate each room in. Uh, your house and all that and I had bought this whenever we found our house and there was a few months before when we found it and when we actually moved into it and because we pretty much had to buy all the furniture for it whenever we moved in <coughs> I wanted to be able to decide what we were going to get so we could get it pretty soon after we moved in so I had to taken all the measurements of the room where the windows were and all that and I ended up doing a floor layout so this is the living room, um, that's the final one. There was a draft one where I had cut out the furniture, as you can see them here. And I moved them around the room until I found the layout that I liked. So then I knew all the furniture we bought would fit, even if we're not technically in the house. The one room that was left quite uncertain and has changed a lot and many times since um, we moved here <coughs> is our current office. It used to be a dining room our office was where Owen's room is now and Owen was into what is now Alfie's room and then whenever I got pregnant we moved Owen into the his room, current room to make the room for Alfie and we moved the office down the stairs to make it like a dining room slash office slash spare room <laughs> which is so actually the spare room was in Alfie's room still then um, so <clears throat> Basically, we now know that <coughs> the function it currently has, which is a spare bedroom slash office, is likely to remain that for a good, good while. 
So we're now going to finally tackle this. Uh, in the meantime, because I love to move furniture around in the house, when we moved here, I know I've probably said that before, but I decided to go with color on the walls and on the furnishings, like, like the couch and things like that, <laughs> but to keep all the furniture white. <coughs> So this way we can move them between rooms no problem. So if for example we decide to change something in one room we can reuse that furniture in another room and this way we save a lot of money which is I think every single unit around this house has been in at least two different rooms so far. Um, so this is what's going to happen. Um, Alfie needs more storage in his room because he has quite a lot of toys now and <coughs> he's just growing up so we now don't have he used to have a changing table um like a walker and like loads of bulky baby toys that were donated now so we don't have this in his room anymore and he really needs more toy storage also for his clothes at the moment he has a little wardrobe which is basically not used because it has not many clothes that you hang everything is pretty much folded into a chest of drawers <coughs> So we're going to go with a system like in Owen's room where we have a big unit. On some of the boxes we put the do we put some doors and the rest is for the toys. Alfie's room is, is a lot smaller so we need to have something which can store a lot in a small amount of space. So having that on one wall can store pretty much everything. And uh, it means that there's more space in the room itself. So we have this big unit, the same as in Owen's room, in the office at the moment. But uh, the way we want to move the office around, this furniture is quite big and it's, it, it stops us in changing the layout of the room a lot. So we're going to move that one to Alfie's room. Then Alfie's little wardrobe is going to be given to one of our friends for her baby's room. Then uh, the, his chest of drawer with clothes are currently are going to come to the office to store my fabric. Because I figured, um, at least it's away from dust, you know, I can just pull it out. So I have an idea in my head about how I'm going to do it. Um, in the office, we are going to get two more storage units, which are like this one. Uh, it's the same with, you know, the boxes. There's basically, it's two wide and four down. So there's eight boxes in this one. At the moment, we have a furniture that's five by five. So it's a lot bigger. But because we're all my fabric, which takes a few of the boxes, are going to move to the chest of drawer, we don't need such a big one. So we're going to get two of those. Um, there is a 4x4, four four, but having it in two separate things means we can change the layout more easily in the future. So we're going to do that. And we're also going to get an extra bit of desk. Our current desk, uh, you basically buy the, um, the legs and the tops separate. So... Um, we are going to get just an extra top thing and a few like a couple of legs probably i need to work it out i'm going to work it out on paper today that's my project of the day um so then at the moment i need to pick whether i want to do stickers or sewing and i need to switch my machines around whenever i change which is not convenient i would like to have everything there and i can just move from one station to another uh it's also important for james to have his own space for his desk to play his games to just have just have his, his space <laughs> so um <clears throat> we are just going to make the i think we're going to do like an l shape sorry i just need to worry my nose we're just going to do like an l shape desk which is slightly longer than what we have at the moment so we have like a, there's a sewing corner my main work area a sticker corner and then james's corner um and we're going to leave obviously the bed in there to use when people are coming so that's my program of the day <coughs> i'm going to work on paper on that using the measurements from the ikea website for everything and um once i have it on paper i think it will be great to just go to the shop and pick everything and then then the idea is to go tomorrow so then on um, sunday <laughs> we can move everything around uh, is it going to happen I doubt it at the moment, so that's why if it doesn't, we will just move everything to the next uh, next weekend. It's no big deal. I would like it to be done this weekend because um, on Monday I we, we will have an extra boy in our house for a couple of hours, some days in the week. Um, he's one of our friends and his mom is going back to work. She's on maternity leave at the moment. And his granny would pick, like, he's going to pick him up here after she's finishing work. She works like locally and he goes to the school right beside us. So there's like about 
two hours so on some days where he uh, between the school finishes and uh, his granny can pick him up so he's just gonna come here in the meantime and Owen is very excited aren't you Owen? Yeah. Because they play they play great together. He's 10 years old but he's an amazing boy and he's one of Owen's best, Owen's best friends isn't he? Yes. Yeah. And they play great with their, with Playmobil so that's why we rearranged all the Playmobiles in Owen's room <coughs> so then they can create what they call a Playmobil world and they can play which is really good. I'm also going to help him with his homework as well. Um, he also likes playing some Lego with me sometimes. It does, but then. sometimes you just play with both, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> you like that, don't you? Yeah. So, yeah. So, in case there's not much vlogging on the vlog today, at least you will have some a video telling you all about our next project in the house. Um, luckily, this one is one that doesn't require a lot of money. Um, <coughs> And um, yeah. with just about, let's say, 120 pounds, maybe, we can completely rearrange two rooms in our house, which I think is pretty good. So, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know yet if there will be any more from this video. If not, uh, we'll be back as normal as soon as we can. But um, in the meantime, yeah, just be patient. I'm sorry. I hope you understand. Uh, my children are my priority, and right now my child needs me, so I'll just go hour by hour and decide. Guess who's back? The giant pile of laundry. Alfie is just asleep there, it's 10 o'clock, so I'm gonna tackle this while I can. <laughs> Never know how long he's gonna be asleep for at the moment. Um, so that's the list. There will be one thing done today. The laundry is done. This is actually like a massive pile filled from the bottom to the top and I've just stuffed the socks uh, on the sides, but um, it's all our stuff and all the boy stuff. <sighs> Alfie is awake, so I'm gonna go and get him in his bed. Hopefully he's in not too much of a bad mood. Hello. Yeah. That's a smile on your face. Is that a smile on your face? Mm-hmm. Will we go down? Do you want to get out? So it is now almost at 2 o'clock, Owen is in bed, Alfie was in bed and he woke up coughing so James trying to get him back to sleep. Um, I've put the dinner on and um, I'm gonna try and do my uh, floor plan for the office which I've tried to do all day but nothing went to plan. I am absolutely drained mentally and physically right now. Alfie has literally been glued to me for the past three days and he's heavy and I can't carry him around all over the place um, and I've had no uh, my personal space is invaded constantly and I know he needs me and all that but um, he's very cute and I love hugs but when you have a baby constantly on you for three days non-stop it, it, you kind of crave your personal space after a while so um, hopefully he can manage to get back to sleep for a wee bit at least uh, but I'm going to stop the vlog here and um, it probably will be a late one when it's uploaded. I have no idea <laughs> right now. I don't want to make any promises because to be honest, I really, really don't know what right now, how much time I'm going to get and if I'm going to get any time. So um, I will, yeah, I, I will just uh, see and keep you updated. Um, but yeah, hopefully it won't be too bad. <laughs> Anyway, I will see you tomorrow in the next vlog. Bye!